Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Lautech, is jointly owned by Oyo and Oshun state governments. With the general function of providing liberal higher education and encouragement to the rapid advancement of learning throughout Nigeria. The university runs three academic programs, pre-degree science program, undergraduate programs, and postgraduate programs. The conception of the university began in 1987 when Governor Aditsunji Oluri, the then military governor of Oyo State, responding to a letter from the governing council of the Polytechnic Ibadan, set up a seven-member inter-ministerial committee. The committee submitted its report in 1988 and recommended the establishment of a state university. Arising from the creation of Oshu State from the former Oyo State, the name of the university was changed from Oyo State University of Technology to Ladoke Akintola University of Technology of Bumosho, and the edict that established the university was appropriately amended. Lautech main campus in Ogumosho, or your state, is where most of the university's teaching and research are carried out. The Ogumosho campus also houses the central administration of the university. It has five facilities and the postgraduate school, where courses such as pure and applied science, medicine, agriculture, engineering, and technology, environmental science are taught. While the Oshogbo campus in Oshu State houses the College of Health Sciences, which is made up of the various departments and students in the field of medicine and surgery, medical laboratory, technology, and nursing sciences. The stability of the institution is now threatened with series of protests by students and strikes by the academic union. They should pay our lecturers. If they, they can't pay our lecturers, at least they should form a, an education reform committee, talk to our lecturers, give them a memorandum of like, okay, this is the time your, your money will be paid or something. So we can go back to school and have an exam for God's sake. I want the, the two uh, governments to find way out for this solution. Like, I want this school, this uh, institution to be open. That is just my own plight. Because I've been in, school, in this school for more than six years now, and I'm still in 400 level, always strike, strike, strike here and there. The school has been locked over a year due to the inability to resolve the financial obligation towards the institution by the two owner states, Oyo and Oshu. Recently, the alumni of the Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Lautech, Ugbomosho, called on the federal government to take over the institution if the issues cannot be resolved. Lautech issue has become a national issue because we do not want this thing to degenerate to a situation that it will become a national embarrassment. If um, jam is being obstructed, we all know that it's a very major and significant issue. So it is a national issue. It has become a national assignment. So for us, even if federal government meets state government tomorrow and say, let us uh, take over Laute so that the embarrassment uh, will be taken care of, we are good. If this is not uh, taken care of now, larger problem are with the institution. About 200 people will be retiring next year. They will need to be paid their gratuity and pension. There's no cover on grant. So how do you explain a situation whereby somebody or a group of people have put in 35 years into service and it's about the time they leave and there's nothing to actually rely on? So we are calling on government to come to the rescue of uh, Lautech. Lautech has been mailed, it's been muted to be the University for Southwest. So this call is even extending to other governors that are within the Southwestern state to 
save Lao Te from dying. I foresaw this happening, and that is exactly what I did at that time. I knew that uh, there was going to be a problem in the future, so I decided to ask us to part our ways. There's no way you can be together, together for, for long. Uh, if you look at history, there's no body, there's no state created in Nigeria today, as of today, that has uh, uh, joint ownership of a university. They all parted their ways. It is only we that we decide not to part our ways. And when I saw it coming, I told them that, uh, I told my brother there that time, uh, brother, my brother, uh, Governor, you know, that look, let us part our ways. Let, you have gotten your own university now, also state university. Or your state hasn't got any university. We only rely only on now tech. So when you got your own university now, you can take your university so that we will not have half university. So we decided to, uh, decide to, to severe our relationship with your school as a joint ownership of that university. And that was exactly what I did that time. The closure of the school for over a year, no doubt, is having an adverse effect on the students. We want a stable calendar. That's, there's no, there, there, it won't be like we'll be going for another strike after nine months, after six months. I mean, five for eleven and spending seven years in school. We want everlasting solution, not just a solution. We want our academic semester to be returned and lectures should start fully. Number two, we want a future and everlasting solution to this problem at hand. We don't want generations coming behind to suffer the same plight that we are suffering now by paying subventions duly to both the staff and everybody that is supposed to be paid at due times. Then number three, we are hereby passing a vote of no confidence on the governing council of the school and the vice chancellor as a whole. I told them that I would help them in speaking to the necessary authorities and also I will try and see what I can do in raising up the stakeholders in this community, meaning um, my members of REP, my, the state assembly members of this um, community and see what we, what we can do, come together and talk together and see what we can do, what solutions we can prefer for them so that they can resume quickly because what is going on is not, is not right, it's not normal for students to be on, it, this is one strike too many.